All right, guys, so let's pretend you're having some problems with uh, Blackboard Collaborate, right? You get a link from your teacher, you click on the link, it brings you to something like this. You type in your name, right? That's me. And when I click on Login, I'll get this little pop-up down here that says Keep or Discard. I'm in Chrome right now. If I'm in Explorer, it might just try to open it automatically. Safari, it might put something in your Downloads folder, whatever. But for this, for Chrome, um, you usually get this little message, and you hit Keep, right? And then you get this file. It says meeting and it has a number, .jnlp. If it's a recorded session, it might say native playback .jnlp. But either way, it says .jnlp on it, right? It's this file. So you're like, okay, what do I do now? Well, you're supposed to be able to click on it, but sometimes it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, like this. It's like, wait, what do you want me to do? And if I hit open, it just does the same thing. And open, I'm like stuck, right? I can't get this to work. Help. What do I do? Well, here's what you need to do. Your computer at this point doesn't know that it's supposed to use a program called Java to open up that file, that .jnlp file or anything with .jnlp it needs to be opened with the right kind of program. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got Java on your computer. If you do a search for Java test, just Java test, two words, um, should be the top link here that comes up in Google. If you click on it, you'll come to this page here to test, you know, whether or not Java's working on your computer. For mine, I've got Java working. If you don't have the newest version of Java, or if you don't have Java, it's probably going to be this like blank window. Um, you're going to need to download Java, right? You're going to have to get the actual program. Um, usually, if you need to upgrade it, there's a link down here you can click on. If you do need to download it, you can click on the downloads and then just download the thing and, you know, away you go. Do what it says. You should be fine. If you've already got Java, like I do, but JNLP isn't working, like mine right now, well, here's what you got to do. You got to tell your computer, hey, open up that program with Java. And here's what that looks like. You need to find that JNLP file, right? So if I go into one of the links that my teacher gave me, right, I'll put in my name. What it does is it downloads that file to my computer somewhere. Um, for this computer, it's in my downloads folder. I don't know where you're putting your stuff, but um, if you want to just find it quickly, you can click on the little down arrow over here and show in folder. And that's where it is, right? I got all these little things in my downloads folder. Um, but you just need to find one of these actual files, right? If it's on your desktop, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna drag one over there and check it out. Boom. But I want this thing that says .jnlp. And again, it could be native playback, could be meeting, whatever, right? But I want one of those. Once you've found one of those, if it's in your downloads folder, whatever, just find it, right? You don't have to drag it to your desktop. I just did that to do it. Um, but once you've got one of these files somewhere, you're going to right click on it and you're going to go to open with, right? And you need to choose a default program. Probably yours isn't going to say Java because it's having problems. It's like, I don't know what to open it with. So you need to choose a default program right here. Right now, mine's defaulted to Internet Explorer. That's not really working right now for me. If you get this big old list of stuff, it's probably like confused. It's like, I don't know what to open it with. Um, what you need to do is browse for the right program. And so if I click on browse, I'm going to start browsing through my computer, telling my computer how to open this file. Um, what you need to do is get into your programs. It already took me into my programs. If it doesn't take you right there, you just click on the C drive and then you go into program files. Um, my little guy. And then what you need to do is find, oh, one other thing. Sometimes, before I go on, sometimes you might have two program files. There might be a program files and then something else that says program files x86. Whatever. Look in both. Okay. So for this, I've only got one program file. So if you have both, you know, program files and program files x86, check both of them for this next thing I do. So I get into program files. What I'm looking for is Java. Starts with a J. Come down here. Boom, 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 boom. There's Java, right? So where do I go now? Well, I want the newest version, so I'm going to go to number seven. And then it's in this thing called the bin. And what you're looking for is this program right here that says Java WS.exe. Um, that's the one you want. You don't want Java W. You don't want Java EXE. You want Java Web Start, I think is what it stands for. Um, Java WS.exe. That's what you want to be using to open up these bad boys. So that's what I want. Um, when you select it, it won't call it that. It's Java TM Web Start Launcher, but whatever. When you're looking for the thing, you want Java WS.exe, like I said about five times. So 
yes, I want that to open it. I want to hit OK. Um, and from there, I should be able to get into the virtual sessions. They should work for me after that. Um, it's going to do its little download thing or whatever. One other thing I think I forgot. Of course, I forgot something else. Um, if I get into open with, after I find java.ws.exe, and after I select it, I want to make sure and click this box down here too to always use the selected program to open this this um, kind of files. That way I don't have to do this every single time. If I don't click that box, I'm going to have to find this program again for the next time I want to open something. So make sure that box is on. That way it'll just automatically do it from then on. So as I can see, my session's working. Yay, yay, yay. This is what it should look like when you're all done.